Good morning, this is Joe Ator and we are gonna go through Skyline Plaza today. So Skyline Plaza is right here next to the Festhalle, the Messeturm. Um, you can get here by taking the U4 from the Bahnhof or taking trams from the Bahnhof 15, 16, and 17. We've got lots of new construction going on down here. There's our newest building called One. You can see it with the sun. But yeah, it's a giant one. And we're just gonna walk down here and go through the mall. There's some interesting stores in here. There's lots of places to eat. That's like you might wanna see what a German shopping mall looks like in Frankfurt. There's also buses that come here, the 46 and the 64. Now, up until just a couple weeks ago, this was all full of people getting vaccinated. This was the vaccination center here for Frankfurt, the big one. So the Skyline Plaza has got lots of restaurants. It has one that's up on a rooftop. You can go outside called Alex. It has a spa called Meridian Spa. It has grocery stores, it has drug stores, it has a Chipotle, it has a Reva, and it's surrounded by hotels. So if you're here for one of the trade fairs, the book fair, the music fair, any of those, going to probably be in one of these hotels around here. You can come over here and go shopping or have lunch or have dinner. So let's see what they have. I hope you like it. It's one of our newest malls. I think one of the nicest ones just because it does have a food court in it. Here's the Mesa back here, the Mesa Torn. But we've already done a video about that area. So already we can see that there's a KFC and a Chipotle here. Saturn is electronics. DM is like a drugstore. It says they're doing free uh, corona test, but that's going to end on Monday. They won't be free anymore. I believe in all of Germany. This is a big Italian restaurant. So it has a couple floors, and we're going to go and do a whole circle around each floor just so you can see what all is here? Up on the third and fourth floor is the spa and Alex, the restaurant. American Food Club. So this is an interesting thing. So we got this, like a, a club membership, 10% plus a certain amount per month. And then you can come in here and get all the Things that your heart desires. Reese's Puffs, A&W Root Beer, Sweet Tea, Dr. Pepper. So what else can't you get in German stores? They've got it here. Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Pop-Tarts, icing, cereal. Reese's. So come shop in here if that's what you're hungry for. Snipes of shoes. What's we got here? Street One. Orsay. These are kind of good for teens clothing. Lorenzia. Macedonia. Only.
Vera Moda. It's another nice one for teens. Uh, Kiko. Looks like cosmetics. Starbucks coffee. Yeah. And that fine cloth. Like a, so like a deli. H&M. And we have a Chipotle. Yay! For those of us who are lacking Tex-Mex food in Germany, you can say what you want about Chipotle. Their food's pretty good. It satisfies the urge. Yes, Christ has a jewelry store here. Eyeglasses. Mango. That's a good store for teens. Brax for men. Kohl's. Strelson. Mark O. Polo. Vaping, socks, this is Falca. Pretty high-end socks and stockings. Hall Huber is pretty expensive. This is Pull and Bear. I've never even heard of them. And Swarovski, went jewels. What's down here? Looks like this is oh, it's a peak and Kloppenberg. This is high end uh, clothing stores, also for women and for men. And then we have a uh, Google Hoop. What do they have here? I think a little bit of everything. They've got cake and stuff like that, some breakfast. And Zara, in this Spanish company. It's not my stuff. They've got a couple stores in Frankfurt. This is AC and Co. I don't know what that is. Massimo Dutti. That sounds Italian and expensive. Zara Home. All your home furnishings. This is a uh, cosmetics. Yeah. All kinds of stuff here for your house. Your apartment. It doesn't have to be Ikea. Rituals. Home and body cosmetics. Brass eyeglasses. Intimissimi, so lingerie. Bijou Bridget. The scarves and your jewelry, sunglasses, hats. It's a travel agency here. First Riser Bowl. Tobacco and magazines. In the body shop. A little zero over here. These are nice chocolates. Also, yum. And Ditch, they've got the best pretzels, I think, in all of Germany. I have to have one almost every day. So, what they have that looks delicious in here? Everything chocolate. And the advent calendars are out. 
We got little smoothies over here called Fooders. And down here we've got a Rava. And Apoteca, which is a pharmacy. And an Asian place here. A Nord Sea. Nord Sea's sort of like the Long John Silvers of Germany. So this is a kind of little food court in here, but not a real big one. My muesli. If you don't want to make your own muesli, you can come in here and get everything muesli. Uh, Kramer, jewelry, perfumes, what's this, Neuhaus, this looks like chocolates, inventor of the ba Belgian praline, who knew, but oh, gosh it looks yummy to me, yum, uh, jewelry, earrings, Sergeant Major, that looks like children's clothes. We've got uh, United Colors of Benetton here. And a Pandora. Uh, Camp David. Who's perfect over here? We've got a really nice barber shop here. Ortiz Barber Shop. And we, yeah, this is furniture. Who's perfect? In New York. So we've made a complete round. Shall we go upstairs? I think we should. Un café per amico. So this is gives you a list of all the all the stores that are in here and where they're located. And of course, there's a website. You can look all this up. But the architecture in here, I think, is kind of neat. Let's go up and see what they have upstairs. This is easy to get to with the U-Bahn or with the Strassenbahn, with the trams, streetcars, whatever you'd like to call them. So Saturn is the, I'd say the biggest electronics store here, but they also have things like washers and dryers, um, cameras, they've got everything that you probably possibly need for your house or electronic needs. But the big one would be Conrad or Media Mart. I think Saturn is supposed to have a little bit of the uh, higher class products and service. So this area right here smells quite a bit because this is lush. I know that this stuff smells good, but it's just common to overwhelming when you walk past the stores. We have a hair salon and massage and nails, pedicures. Cosmetics. Got a foot locker over here. Some of the places up here don't look like they're open. This is a salon over here. Tom Taylor, looks like, not sure why they're not open. This is Jack Jones. GameStop over there. That's over there, looks like they're closed. 
it's not because it's too early on the morning. It's a Saturday morning. Come get your brows done here. The Bloom Brow Bar. Here's the rest of H&M. The children's section. The children's clothes, I think, at H&M are so cute. And this is the larger food court. But we're gonna do a circle around here and then we'll come back to the food court. Or no, let's do the food court and then we'll come back around. What do you think? Let's see what they've got good to eat today. Immergrown, so this is, looks like it might be all vegetables, a lot of vegan stuff. It's Asian. Subway. What's this? Oh, we got Persian. Okay, that looks yummy. Halal and gluten-free, it says. Is that menu? It goes upstairs to the Skyline Garden. What's over here? This is bamboo. There's a fine food and rice burger. Let's take a look. That all looks delicious to me. I've wrapped some things over here. This is uh, Moroccan and Lebanese food. Ever popular KFC. So this is coming out on the other side. We're going to go back down through the food court and start our circle again. You're going to do the whole thing. You have to do the whole thing. That's my motto. The cool architecture here. Now, if you want to sit outside at these seats, you have to show your vaccine thing or that you've been tested or that you've recovered, which they are calling the three Gs. So this is Alice's premium dinner. It's everything that goes on a dinner. You can tell these places just opened up because everything's all nice and fresh. Morgan. That's over here. Chow Bella Italian food. We've got pizzas and salads. Hainu. Indochina cuisine. Okay, that was delicious. Yummy. This urban ranch. I hope they don't have ranch dressing though. Mm -hmm. I do Oh, mm -hmm. the Asian places are all like piled up. They're all ready for a big lunch. We test what for? This is called a Greek delicious. They don't look like they're open today. And we have Manju. This is Indian. Okay, this all looks delicious to me. Hi. Looks delicious. There's all their menu items. Yeah, I like Indian food. So we'll continue our round now that we've seen our food court. And there's some other food things off to the sides throughout this mall. So there's no lack of choices for what you'd like to eat. Especially if you'd like Asian. So this is La Luna. This is some kind of bakery thing. An ice cream. What do they have over here? It's like... Oh wow. It's yogurt stuff. Oh, that doesn't 
the cakes. I think this is all gelato. So Euro 50 for a ball. What else do they have here? That's right, they have spaghetti ice. These look really pretty, how they decorated these for the morning. Ready for a nice Saturday lunch. What's over here? Flying Tiger Copenhagen. I think this is just like a store that has all kinds of neat things from Copenhagen. We have a store downtown that has everything from the Netherlands. It's also just, just really cute stuff. Big flower store called Blumentime. This looks nice. They look nice and creative. Over here we've got Nori Kids Center. It's like a place where you can bring your kid. You've been good while we shop, so now you can come over here and play. Let me see what they're doing. Are they taking can you let your kids off here? They've got birthday parties too. Yeah, you can drop your kids off. Like $4.90 for 30 minutes. That's neat. So look those up. If you're looking for a birthday party, especially in the winter time or if it's a rainy day, this is a cool place to come. And they got all these like balls and trampolines and stuff. Swings. And if I was a kid, I'd like to go there. So this is called Coco over here. This looks like a tailoring shop. Kalita, which is lingerie. And Triumph, which is lingerie. S. Oliver. Nice place for clothing. There's a mobile store. It's also doing repairs. What is this? This is Olymp. And this is called Just For Fun. This is a, a big toy store. A really nice big toy store. I see Legos there in the back. Okay, we kind of left off over there, but we forgot to do a few stores over here. So we're gonna do these first before I show you where the roof garden is. This is called Creative Balloons. So everything that you want to do to make your own fancy schmancy balloons. How cool is that? Looks like we've got tanks here for helium and all kinds of balloons. Here they're doing laser aesthetic medicine. The implants. Vodafone again. Here and there. LA Nails. Tom Taylor. Telecom. Hunkemuller. So Hunkemuller, it looks like it's like lingerie, but like expensive. For all your paper needs. We've got my paper over here. It's kind of a small store, but they've got enough of everything that you need. Like school supplies. It's called Later Heinz. All kinds of bags and suitcases. It's a pretty big store. Lots of name brands. The car, Samsonite. There's a Butler. Butler's has everything like decorative. And there's several of them in the city. So it's a fun place to come shop. But let's go look at this place across the way. Patisserie de la Rabit. De la Rib. Poppy. This looks really delicious. I'm gonna look at it. Good morning. Morning. To see liquor us. What's this? 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 
Das ist alles hier gemacht. Genau. Okay. In Kelsterbach. In Okay. So I made this in Kelsterbach, I'll buy the food coffin. Yummy. <laughs> Und das ist okay. Ich komme zurück. Ja, ich will nicht. Ich will nicht. Ich will nicht. Ich It's very delicious. He was generous and gave me a nice little, little bite. I wonder if they do cooking classes. I've got lots of layers there. Sure. Ich komme zurück. Danke. Now I've got McDonald's over here. And I think they're doing like a children's birthday maybe. Just like McDonald's in the States. And over here we've got a bookstore. Not quite as big as Hook and Doodle, but pretty good size. There we go. So, let's go see where those elevators are to go upstairs to the roof garden. So that you can see where they are. If you want to go up there, if you want to go up to Alex. So this is coming soon, this plant burger, Beyond Meat. That's nice that they'll have a whole store just devoted to that. There's a couple restaurants in town that only have that. Either Impossible Burgers or Beyond Burgers, Beyond Meat. So here we've got the signs to the Skyline Garden. Here, it's here right in the middle of the food court. And you just come through here and take the elevator up. If you need to use the toilets here, I recommend taking the elevator up because otherwise you have to go up a bunch of flights of stairs. So you just come over here, push one of the buttons and one of these four elevators will open. And you want to go here to Skyline Gardens. Oh, and that's it. I hope you've had a good time here at the Skyline Plaza today. Thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure having you along. Join the Meridian Spa if you have some money. And thank you so much for liking and subscribing and watching my videos. It's been a pleasure having you along. Bye. So here we made it upstairs to Alex and the Skyline Garden. Here. Let's go outside and see what you can see. This is a kind of a cool view of the city from up here. You've got your kids, you can come up here and play. All kinds of neat things to see here. I love a rooftop view. It's always fun. Let's go see what they have over here. Especially in the summertime, you can some, sit, up, sit outside here at Alex. And your kids can run around and play. And a little playground for the kids. A nice view of the TV tower. It looks like they're doing yoga out here too. Message one and one. 
And this is our newest apartment building over here. This big white building with the sun behind it. And then they've got another building that they're building behind that. So they have all these apartment buildings. So we're basically in the Europa Schiffel. But that's gonna be for a different video. Because it's pretty big. So we've got another observation platform you can go up here. Shall we? Why not? We're here. Let's go up here and see what we can see. And we can leave the person behind us screaming on our phone. Everyone gets upset on their phones those once in a while. Let me switch hands here so I can hold on the railing. I can see everything better. If you've got money, this is the apartment building to come live in. The top penthouse I've heard has gone anywhere between two and a half and five million euros. We don't know, it's all rumors. You get a nice view of the TV tower over there. There's the Marriott. So the Frankfurters aren't real excited about the locks being on the Eisner Steg, so they made these hearts here. I don't think there's any more hearts in here now than there was the last time I was here. Last year. I like the roof over here with all the colors. That's kind of neat looking. And down over this way. This is a rope or fiddle down through here. So they're building something like 13,000 apartments. And we just still never have enough. And this dome that's over here is the spa. And they've got a little pool and stuff in there. So, I think that's it for right now. Uh, thank you for joining me on my tour today. And hope to see you again soon on my next video. Thank you for liking and subscribing and for watching. Bye.